twice in the same night. At first glance, this looks like any other kid roaming a gas station aisle. He takes a swig of his drink in one hand and carries snacks in the other. Take a closer look and you could see this six-year-old's blue drink is a Smirnoff ice. Olivia Eversall was working at the Hanover Township Marathon Friday night and spotted the little boy after he hopped out of this car. And he's drinking a beer in the parking lot. And well, my, co my co-worker was like, is he drinking a beer? And I look and I was like, oh, he is. The child even offered some to a customer, employees said. So I opened the door and I said, um, you know, do you know that you're drinking a beer? And he said, yep, this is me and my mommy's favorite beer. We drink it all the time. So I just instantly, I knew, like, give me my phone, I'm calling 911. Eversol tried to keep the child occupied until deputies arrived. And I said, you go shopping, get whatever you want, I'll buy it. The boy ran to the car, returned without the drink, and started putting items on the counter. And he got donuts, um, some candy, and some toothpaste and mouthwash, and said he was super excited to use it. When deputies arrived, the woman in the car, later identified as Victoria Hampton, reportedly said it was an accident. They left. Deputies then went to her home nearby on Lakeside Drive, where, according to a police report, they found the same child on a scooter in the middle of the road with another Smirnoff in his hand. Hampton was arrested. I just wanted to take him home. I was like, I'll take care of you, you know, it's just because it's, it's not his fault. It, it hurt my feelings really bad. And, you know, Eversol and the other employees at that marathon, they are really getting a lot of praise tonight. You know, you saw I had to do a Zoom with Eversol. That's because she has another job. She works with people with disabilities. And she tells me in that job, she always has to be on. She has to be observant. And that just carries over to when she is working in the marathon. One other thing I want to mention, we are still trying to figure out if Hampton is the mother of the six-year-old. In the court documents, that wasn't clear. It just said it was a six-year-old who was in her care. But as as we get those details, we'll pass them along. Reporting live in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Just unbelievable. Karen, thanks so much. Either way, Hampton's bond was set at $2,000. She's due back in court tomorrow.